Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for January 29th, 28, excuse me, 2019. Um, my goodness, we had a pretty good day yesterday after some ugly selling in the morning. Um, eventually, those bulls came in and found the energy to defend. So if I would Excuse me, my voice is a little bit bad this morning. If I were to uh, redraw this line, you can see we caught this nice little defense right in here, showing a little bit of price support and those bulls willing to uh, support those levels. As earnings roll out this morning, we've... Um, gotten a little bit better over the morning um pushing up just a little bit higher right now as i record this we're looking at a gap up um uh, modest gap up about 25 points between 25 and 30 points but remember there's still a lot of earnings yet to come out today and that could greatly change by the time the market opens let's take a quick look at the overall first we're still holding this downtrend here in the diamonds and um, currently still holding on to that uptrend if we take a look at our moving averages we're doing pretty well um, on our moving averages we're above our 50-day moving average below our 200-day moving average and we're getting that nice support of all of these um, um, smaller um, time frame moving averages rolling up to provide some support to that 50 day. We still have, <clears throat> you know, significant concern with all of this resistance up through this area that we have to pay attention to. And any market decline um, down into here really wouldn't be a major problem as long as we can hold some of these support levels that we have built. And, and that's one of the reasons why we want to have these nice consolidations, little resting periods in the market as we go up to build those levels of support, an area where the bulls can actually defend. They did do that yesterday, and that's a good sign. Hopefully, we can get enough good earnings reports to follow this um, price action through to the upside let's take a look at um the spy 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 also did the same thing i'm going to adjust my trend line out here where we found that little bit of a price support and you can see we have a nice little uptrend going on and that's still holding true we do have this downtrend that we have to consider in all of this resistance area up in here that we need to um, be able to to break through but so far we're holding on here in a pretty good manner and that's that's a nice sign once again i would suggest even if we do pull back as long as we can hold in this area here i think we're going to be okay overall in the market we just don't want to see um, some of those support levels really starting to break down if they can hold up in this area will obviously be in a much better position to catch that rally. Um, keep in mind that we have some big earnings today uh, going on. Probably the biggest uh, today is going to be Apple. Apple reporting after the bell today. That will obviously have a great influence over what the market does tomorrow morning. So keep in mind, we're in uh, during the earnings season, we typically have significant gaps that uh, the market dances around. So um, if, if Apple reports better than expected, we could see a nice gap up in the morning. If Apple disappoints, we could see that gap down in certainly that could um, overall damage uh, some of the sentiment of the market let's take a look here we're up above this downtrend line and we held on by a hair's breadth yesterday held on to that support level um, keep in mind i think we're going to be okay in here even if the cues were to pull back into this level of support right in here down in this area we're going to be okay even if we have to pull back into here to find those buyers to pick this back up but let's also keep in mind that we're holding nicely above that 50-day moving average we've got there are smaller time frame moving averages coming up to provide support so that looks pretty good we just need to hold on in here and of course earnings once again can change everything really really quickly so watch those levels closely let's take a quick look at IWM 
IWM held on nicely yesterday, pulling back into the support level, but you can see actually found buyers right in here, pushing back up before the end of the day, um, nicely holding its downtrend, as you can see. And so this is going to be a rather key area, I think, between here and maybe down even into here. So if we can hold above this area in here, um, we're looking pretty good here on IWM. Keep in mind that that's also holding above that 50-day moving average. And that support level that I just marked is really just right there in that area. We need to hold that area right there, and we should be in pretty good shape here on IWM. Let's take a look at the VIX real quick. The VIX had a little bit of spike in fear yesterday when we were down 400 points. We were up here toward the top of this candle, uh, top of this wick. We were up in here. A little bit of fear creeping into the market, and then as the bulls started to defend, that fear started to diminish but let's keep in mind, we're dancing around a nice level um, in here of possible uh, support for the VIX. So if we get any shocking earnings reports, don't be at all surprised to see us start to move up here off of these support levels. Of course, what we want to see is we want to see that fear continue to diminish in the market. And if we get really good earnings reports, possible that that fear could drift down here toward this lower level of support, that would be an awesome some sign for the market little bit of rest in that volatility let's take a peek at t2122 whoops t2122 is the four week new high new low ratio and we had a fairly significant move in this yesterday but um, rallied right back up. So our T2122 still sitting up here at very high levels, suggesting that a pullback or more of a pullback is due. That doesn't mean it has to happen, but we do have to be aware of that, that if we start getting any bad reports, we could quickly see this move us lower. So we're up here in this range where we normally would typically... Um, find uh, bearish reversals and um, if you look back over time it's been a long long time since we've seen t2122 up here in this zone um, this long so um, at any time we have to be uh, respect that potential of uh, the that selling or at a minimum consolidation that rests and pulls us back down here in this four week new high new low ratio watch that closely in the days as we move forward let's take a look at our economic calendar if we take a peek over here at our economic calendar you can see Give me just a second. There we go. Economic calendar. We have the FOMC meeting beginning today. Nothing will really happen as a result of that today. But, of course, tomorrow at 2 o'clock p.m. is when the FOMC will announce its decision on interest rates. We do have international trade in goods this morning at 8.30 this morning that can move the market around. S&P CoreLogic and Consumer Confidence also have the potential to move the market around a little bit. And then we have some reports that are um, would not be expected to move the market. So kind of keep that in mind as we move along. Um, also, it's very, very possible ahead of an FOMC. We get past the morning pop, we get past some of the earnings reports. It's very possible that the market could just kind of get slow and stodgy. Um, very little price action in the market um, as it's waiting for the FOMC. That is a possibility, but with so many issues on, um, on the mind of the market, that uh, I think I'm probably going to lean more to more of the volatility, um, more price action than just a real stale market. We'll have to wait and see. Um, also keep in mind, new trade tensions between U.S. and China um, cropping up and then sanctions against uh, Venezuela are also um, adding a little bit of tension or pressure maybe to the market. Um, but I think earnings are going to far exceed um, any concerns over those 
um, they will take precedence. So earnings like uh, 3M this morning, 3M seeing a gap up this morning, um, that is a good sign and a good help for um, the Dow showing um, positive signs here on 3M. So we'll have to keep an eye on those kind of companies. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day. I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons. And always, always, please help me out by uh, leaving a comment, le clicking those thumbs up buttons. That helps a bunch in supporting the channel so I can continue to to put out this information free for everyone. I never intend to, to make any money from these videos. This truly is to help other traders. Let me um, uh, take just a second here now and let's take a look at a few charts that are actually looking pretty darn good here and something we need to keep an eye on. There's really good patterns in the market and one of my favorite um, is a pattern that we call the round of bottom breakout. Now this, this chart right here in Citibank is a round of bottom breakout but not technically. There's not enough room up to the 200 to technically be a um, true round of bottom breakout pattern but a very nice chart chart um, overall and you can see I had a price alert right here on this chart I'm actually in this trade and I'm just looking for this to slowly move up I don't expect any big shakes here in Citibank but if we are going to start seeing a, uh, that market recover and continue to hold these financials will likely be a big part of that and rolling up into these next resistance levels is all I'm looking for um, trading this obviously with um, um, call options um, at the moment uh, CTRP, CTRP, been a pretty nice stock holding up in here. Nice little bottoming formation with this kind of W bottom in here. This nice formation breaking up through, holding this area of support, seeing those buyers come in off of that support area. We do have a resistance here to, to think about, but if that pushes right on through, might be a nice chart to keep an eye on. Um, Momo, Momo here breaking through in it's downtrend holding up really really well off this trend even though we got a little resting pullback yesterday a little consolidation over toward this trend we could easily see that move on higher so keep an eye on momo um really good move yesterday in jd um, right way options folks are in jd and we've been in this for a while we actually have better than a 30 percent gain in the position currently and we're just looking for this to move on higher toward this next target up here around 25 and so far that's looking pretty good uh, JD could be uh, moving on up and looking pretty darn good take a look at Roku Roku um, whoops Roku had a really nice day yesterday pushing up here's that nice pattern again breaking that downtrend holding a trend up moving up sideways over to the trend buyers coming in right in here looking to see if this can push on through to the upside roku looking pretty good for some upside moves so you might want to keep an eye on uh, roku swks swks is another one of those patterns and you can see all of these are these patterns where we break above that 50-day moving average break above the downtrend buyers stepping in to hold those support levels um, our moving average is starting to roll and turn up very very nice pattern had a really good day yesterday might consolidate a little bit more but watch this it's looking pretty good here so lots of good potential charts out there to trade um, also I want to make mention um, marijuana stocks are just doing um, uh, extremely well and you can see here in CGC just a, an incredible move up and I've had alerts on this trade and, and traded this position on up we're running into some resistance levels up here we'll want to watch that closely but other than that CGC looking good um, TLRY TLRY making a nice comeback bouncing off of this downtrend here I've got an alert in on this trade and I'm going to be watching this closely but but um, that has the opportunity to start moving up. C-R-O-N has just been a monster 
flying to the upside here. So keep an eye um, on those charts. Also very good uh, charts for, for nice quick traders. So with that, everyone, hey, have an awesome day. I want to wish you the very, very best. I want to wish you great profits. Never give up on yourself. I know uh, markets can be very challenging and it can test us all personally uh, really hard. But never give up. Believe me on this. Um, if an old carpenter can figure out how to make a living doing this uh, for the last 14 years full time, so can you. Everyone take care. We'll talk to you all bright and early Wednesday morning. Take care, everyone.